The Wireless Race by Leanne Hagiwara. American engineer Martin Cooper is often dubbed the father of the mobile phone, but he couldn't have done it without his team. In November of 1972, he and his team at the Motorola Company began working on a prototype of the first cell phone. They were trying to make a cell phone before their competitors at AT&T could finish theirs. Five months later, they were successful. Cooper stood on a Manhattan street and placed the world's first call from a mobile phone to his rival at AT&T. There were a lot of naysayers over the years, Cooper admitted. Yet together with his team, he was able to create a device we all use today. Car-based cell phones had been around since the 1930s and were still popular in the 1970s. However, these car phones had many problems. First, they cost between $2,000 and $4,000. Second, they were unreliable because of poor connections. Lastly, they were difficult to get. Sometimes you had to wait until someone canceled their service so you could create an account. The cell phone developed by Cooper and his team was also different in one very important way. You did not have to be inside a car to use it. People could call one another from the backyard, the street, and even the grocery store. Thanks to the hard work of Martin Cooper and his team, people were no longer tied down by their phone cord. The end.